Day two of the 2022 Fun Rare Show has brought an announcement in the form of Boom Supersonic, who are attending the event. The statement was a big one, with the reveal of a redefined overture and a host of other announcements, many of which will be covered in other videos today. However, the focus for this specific one sits on the design, as that's undoubtedly what will have caught the eyes of many initially. The new overture, capable of carrying 65 to 80 passengers and flying at twice the speed of today's airliners. It's been given quite the boost thanks to 26 million core hours of stimulated software designs, wind tunnel testing, and the evaluation of interiors and more. This has been best deemed as the sustainable airliner of the future. With notably a now four-engine design, these engines will be wing-mounted, allowing the aircraft to cruise at Mach 1.7 over water and just under Mach 1 over land. In addition, the decision to add four engines to the plane means there will be a reduction in noise according to Boom, which will also decrease the costs ultimately for the airline operations. Furthermore, the placement of the engines has been worked so that safety requirements can be met. Obviously a massive hurdle when looking to build such an aircraft for the future. A contoured fuselage allows for a larger diameter toward the front of the aircraft and therefore a smaller diameter towards the rear, applying a design technique that will minimize drag but also boost fuel efficiency at supersonic speeds, which is one of the most significant areas of focus one could argue. In addition, a carbon composite structure will allow for most of the build to be lighter, yet also more robust. Now, this is a method that we've seen widely applied by many aircraft manufacturers nowadays. The specifications, however, can be as follows for those interested in the nitty gritty. A range of 4,250 nautical miles with a full payload will be available. Interior dimensions of 79 feet long. Exterior dimensions will sit at 201 feet a wingspan of 106 feet and a height of 36 feet. In addition, gull wings are also going to be seen on the overture, precisely sculpted to enhance supersonic performance. Quieter operations are now possible thanks to the world's first automated noise reduction system. Flying without afterburners means according to Boom and their release, the aircraft can meet strict regulatory noise levels, which naturally, being one of the biggest complaints such an aircraft would incur, is important to solve, especially following the Concorde and nowadays just generally the disturbance that aircraft cause at airports around the world for the communities located around it. The perfect and prime example I could give you is that of London's Heathrow. Boom's CEO and founder said, Aviation had not seen a giant leap in decades. Overture is revolutionary in its design and it will fundamentally change how we think about distance, with more than 600 routes across the globe. Overture will make the world dramatically more accessible for tens of millions of passengers. Purchase options from United Airlines and Japan Airlines mean that total commitments stand at 70 aircraft. Boom are also in the process of working with many other companies, many of which I will be discussing in a later video taking a look at the more important announcements regarding future development, but they're betting on this aircraft really being the future. With it arriving towards the back end of this decade and production beginning on the test aircraft that will be known as the Iron Bird in 2024. The Iron Bird will be produced in Colorado's newly announced 70,000 square foot hardware ground test facility, which will ultimately be home to the Overture test model and various flight deck simulators. Until then, there are still many questions to answer, but like I'll always say with technology such as Boom and the many other companies slash concept aircraft I've covered through the years, something new is always a breath of fresh air, and I'm intently optimistic about all these different technologies and will always cross my fingers and hope that one day they will come to fruition. To the Flash Cuban, Neil, Don Stefan, and finally Jam, thank you for being cabin crew members here on the channel and supporting what I do every single day. I appreciate it more than words can say. Thank you very much for watching. Do take care, and I will see you next time for another video covering day two of the 2022 Farnborough Air Show.